All right, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. We are up against the highest combat power once again that we've ever fought, King Arthur 1200. We uh, we have some studying to do in this game. There's absolutely been a couple of situations here where I'm like, could have played it better, could have transitioned sooner. Uh, and I really like to do a couple different things. Let's see though, with this one, I don't like elite specialists because I like lots of units. Steel Ball and Crawlers makes a lot of sense. Supply Specialist has a lot of flexibility. It also has Phoenix going for it, which I don't actually like Phoenix very much. I don't like buying them. I think they're very expensive marksmen. But what I do think they are, are very incredible uh, flank protecting units. Now he has, um, he's gone for a build that is really good against ours, unfortunately. And that he has a bunch of Mustangs. And, um, and that's not fair. Uh, I want to make sure that my Phoenix are actually f far enough behind that the uh, Crawlers definitely take aggro here. And what do we do? Tanks would be really good. Uh, steel balls would be really good. In the first round, though, I like to just deploy two things. So let's go ahead and get, I don't know, some outside flank uh, snipers. Maybe even closer, but at this point, they already have good angles. So what are they doing? They're doing pretty far close up. They are going to shoot our sniper on this side, unfortunately. Um, yeah, they're going to do, they're going to do a good round here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I see it. I see the problem. I sure do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, we do have some extra money coming in, so something like an arc light would make a lot of sense. Even the tanks. I'm actually a big fan of the tanks in this situation. Uh, heavy hacker. I keep saying I want to get it. This might be the round that we actually do. But for this round only, it's got to be the tanks. And I don't like the idea of the other units starting in range to snipe me. Uh, so it makes me want to be like, just like, I feel like he made the mistake of coming so close to the front line. That we can shoot, we can alpha strike them with my tanks. But maybe he'll put rockets or something? I don't know. So there goes his shooters. My tanks are going to be, like, kind of eating apart here. But once we have armor on them, ain't nothing going down. We're just too slow on the attack right now. That's fine. We'll get them in the next one. He got a good, he got, like, his starting units absolutely were the counter to my starting units. So I'm okay with the fact that we're kind of going about it the long way here and, uh, and getting on him. So there's the tanks. I don't want to get the range upgrade on the tanks. Or the extended range style chamber tanks. Well, crap, I just said I didn't want to get the range on them. And then I literally got offered it. Uh, still... Go electromagnetic. And perhaps we just put it on one of the flanks here. And then what I'm gonna do is I am gonna buy the armor. Because it's too important not to. And that's more good stuff. Uh, and then another sniper may as well. And we'll put them a little closer to the front. Okay, he did get a fortress. Good for him. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, oh, I thought this would do damage as well. It does. Okay, never mind. I just wasted that ability. I mean, he could have got something like armor piercing on his uh, on his his boys, but he didn't. so we're good. And you can see here that we are doing absolutely fine just by getting some armor on those tanks. So sucks to suck, my dude. You're absolutely wrecked. You're roasted. And because he got this giant, I'm actually more inclined to go after my swarm build, you know? A uh, range specialist is a bit annoying in that I just, uh... I 
just leveled some stuff up. But that's fine. Um, so Swarmer, Swarmer, boys. I do want to get right on this guy. And I want to get right on these guys. And then I didn't get any tech or anything. That's, I think, fine. Okay, he did get the shields, and that's another reason to go in on Swarmy Boys. Again, we're getting in there. Once we have Mechanical Rage, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Those shields, though, they made a big difference. I'll give them that. Thankfully, we're about to finish one of these tanks. Now, from here... We're basically good, because the Mustangs are just going to shoot the tank forever. We even got a, a quick uh, hit to the back line there. Like. What's this? Reduce interval? Eh, I don't know about that. Uh, attack of all units. Gotta love that. And then we do want to go for speed. Uh, what else do we want to do? I think we go crawler crawler like I know that he can get flamers But like the flamers don't do well against the tanks And then plus one deployment And honestly another Phoenix perhaps No, this is... Well, we could go Stormcallers, but he has the counter. So I think we'll end up going for something neato here in a minute. But for now, I'll get another squad of tanks. I don't want them to be too close, so I'm going to do it like this. Okay, and what did he get here? Missiles? Anti-air barrage? I mean, good for him. That's going to do some stuff over here, right? Good for him, yeah. Okay. Well, he needed anti-air. We're happy for him. And that's going to be enough to really slow down our attack, unfortunately. Did he get additional attack here? No. We are able to blow up a lot of his stuff with our tanks. Like, blowing up several freaking boys at a time. Uh, what do we do to get through those shields? I think it has to be the melting point, right? Heavy armor is really good. So we go melting point here. And then heavy armor. I don't know if this will get here in time, but I would like it to. And then yeah, melting point over here. I would take a cash advance. But it doesn't make sense if I think that literally next turn I'm going to be uh, up against the same or worse situation, perhaps. I don't know. I think I will take the cash advance because losing $100 of total income at this point isn't that big a deal. He did get the Mustang attack power, so good for him. We did get the laser going through. Good for him. Now, if we can get these melting points to have magnetic interference, then he won't have the ability to shoot the armor as much. Doesn't look like that matters. Maybe even just getting crawlers, perhaps? Uh, looks like some crawlers did break in behind. What we could do is buy an extra squad of crawlers and put them behind his, uh, his base at this point. Parasitic ammo. That works really well with our boy here. Um, 10 crawlers every 30 seconds. I mean, how do you not, right? There's so much to do. You just put you there, you put you here. That really forces a response next turn. 
then yeah level them up level them up and these crawlers are clearly getting in there and, and, and making some messes so too could be this guy i'm worried that he's just gonna buy missiles and and just win this one um freak we'll take another cash advance because i am worried about just losing and i will buy a shield right here it's a weird spot for it but i have a feeling it could matter we are lasering through but it takes a second for it to power up these are some pretty good kills you're about to spawn a bunch of crawlers when he dies so that's cute so far we did get their base from behind this is big deal this this means we have a chance here I don't know what they're gonna spawn to fight those. Probably more of their Mustangs. It means that they're gonna have less to put on the front line. That's for sure. So if I go for, oh no, it's over. It's over. It's over. We got him. We got him. The biggest power boy we've ever fought here. Big front line of lasers. We got in there. We made it happen. Oh baby. Let's return to lobby and see how much power rating that was worth. Ooh, 55. Oh, it's going up, baby. It's going up. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.